Good morning. Well, I believe it's day eight of Wisconsin school closures for Prairie to Sheen area. Anyway, we did not have school on Monday, so I'm not counting that as a day because it was a scheduled non-student teacher work day. So day eight, and I'm coming to you a little dim, a little dark. We just lost power, so I'm a little behind schedule. I've been waiting patiently because just as I was about to start, we lost power a little while ago. So, um, I'm going to record this and then upload it using our data. So, um, updates. Yesterday, there were a bunch of staff meetings, boys and girls. So, second and third grade teams met yesterday virtually. We were on Zoom video chat, all the people and all the teams, and it was very, very fun. There was a lot of great conversation, and oh, yes, there we go. There's a lot of great conversation and we have power again, which is fantastic. So I can finish this with a little bit of power. Hopefully it'll stay on. That would be fabulous. All right, we'll put you right there. So as I was saying, we had some great meetings yesterday at families. Um, one of the resounding messages that was received was we are feeling very overwhelmed by all of the information, the material and the emails that we are getting from the school. So we have heard you. I have heard you. So in response to that, I know I have put out a lot of messages to you for your children in order to get contact with me using this video system and in order to get them access to all of the digital programs and different things that they could be doing um, from home. So they're remote learning things from me for centers work. So now that I have gotten the bulk of that information out to you, um, my small piece of helping to reduce all of the information that you're receiving is, I am going to only email every other day for the next couple of weeks. I will still be making a YouTube video every day. So boys and girls and families, if you enjoy this little um, update and the chance to touch base with me, um, go ahead and make sure that you are able to connect to my YouTube channel that these are posted on. So you can do that by subscribing to the channel and you can get there easily on your own time. I wouldn't say that you need to do the notification bell. Um, as long as you know where to find me, you can access these at any time. So emails every other week. Also, due to the Safer at Home, the Bluffview building, has requested that we do not come into the classrooms unless it's essential for distance learning. So at this time, I have everything that I need. So I had previously expected to be going into school every Monday and every Thursday to check mailboxes and things like that. Um, Mr. Haug has asked that we try to stay out of the office area as much as possible. So you are welcome to come to Bluffview. Um, go ahead and buzz in. They will talk with you through the intercom and get you the materials you need, but they will have you wait outside. That being said, if you are a second grader, um, the team has gotten together your next content. So second graders, you have another packet of resource materials that will be coming out later today. Families, that means that um, at your convenience, um, that is available at the Bluffview office if you want to buzz in. Later today, I would probably wait until tomorrow to stop by. Um, keep working on the emergency packets that we put out for the first two weeks, but this next group of packets is for the next few weeks to come. So there's some more material in there. I did take a chance to look that over. There is some, some addition and subtraction with regrouping, which we have not covered a ton. Um, the children do get exposure to it, but it hasn't been a really solid formal lesson that we spent a lot of time on. So they will need your supports with some of that. There's also a large packet of um, reading passages that you can do. Um, continue to use your favorite books as well though for me, that's fine. So that's in the office. Um, friendly reminder, grades were reported for the third quarter. So those are posted. Um, so if you're concerned about those, they are up and accessible. Um, if you have an I in your grade book for anything, if you have a child in the district, I means incomplete. So if you have an incomplete, that means that we need to touch base um, with those staff members and those families to request the materials that should have been graded. So those can be um, 
those can be updated if there's an incomplete or a zero. Um, it's just it's closed for that term. However, we can still get those corrected for you. So if you have any things that you've been holding on to, just touch base with your teachers. All right. So Moby Max update from yesterday. I see that we had a lot of activity. Um, Evan, Lainey, Aaliyah, and Tyson for sure logged in yesterday since the last time I checked, so good for you. Hopefully you've been working a bit on the um, challenge questions that I issued you to see how long people have been on task. Um, lesson plans for today, writers, I issued you a challenge to write me an informational report about something that you are an expert on to teach me more. So if you were in writing, I can't wait to read those. Feel free to send them to me, but first, look them over. See if you can find any chance to replace some words. So if you said the same word over and over and over, for example, I really like to watch this TV show because it's really good. They have good characters. It has a good um, story. Instead of saying good over and over and over again, what other words mean the same as good but are more juicy? You can work on trying to add some more of those. Or what other adjectives, words that describe, could you use to describe things in your writing that may be a little bit dull? So that's my challenge to you. And if you are super excited to teach me something new, I would love to see that come in via email. Again, I will not be going to bluff you any longer to pick up work um, until further notice. Again, it's indefinite. One of our, our words for the week, indefinite. Um, so if you are in reading, or math, go ahead and continue work on your grade level hard copy packets that you received um, for the first two weeks of school closures because like I said, you have new content coming. So um, if you have time to hop on to any of our online systems like Moby Max or Extra Math or any of the other websites, um, feel free to do that. Remember that the expectation for second grade is about an hour a day of distance learning and for third grade, you guys are about two hours a day of distance learning. So I'm not going to overload you today. You will not see emails from me tomorrow. I will be in touch on Monday with emails and a video tomorrow. So be sure to subscribe. Have a great day.